y'all welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be coming to you with an informative video um, I want to share some information with some people because I always hear different things and people getting confused and things of that nature especially people who have never been to these providers so I wanted to provide clarification so I am again a licensed therapist and uh, I find that a lot of people don't really know the difference between a therapist and a psychiatrist. So, and a psychologist for that matter. So a therapist, which is what I am, I'm a licensed therapist. Now in that category, you have people who are licensed, you have people who have their master's um, degree only, who still call themselves counselors, which they can still counsel you up under supervision of a licensed therapist or a psychologist. Um, so uh, you have licensed therapists, that's someone you go to for talk therapy. Uh, and they will use different models to help you achieve your goals and things of that nature. Uh, then you have psychologists. Psychologists um, usually do assessments or batteries of tests um, for different things. It can be for educational purposes, um, you know, different things. But they have a PhD um, and they're at the doctorate level. They either have a PhD or a PsyD. Um, so those are psychologists. Now, then you have psychiatrist. So a psychiatrist is a medical doctor who prescribes medication for your mental health. So some people get it confused or I've heard some people say, oh, well, my therapist uh, gives medication. My, it, you know, my doctor is a counselor or whatever and he gives me medication. But it's important to know the difference. Um, so again, psychiatrists are doctors, uh, medical doctors who prescribe medication for your mental health. Now, you do have a few psychiatrists out there who provide therapy as well. So, but usually for psychiatrist appointments, um, again, they only prescribe medication um, usually. So they would, uh, you usually wouldn't stay in their office too long because they're just there to talk to you about the medication uh, and if the dosage needs to be changed. And I also wanna to mention too that if you are seeing a psychiatrist or if you know someone who is seeing a psychiatrist and they're being prescribed medication for the mental health, um, and it's a new medication, it's very, very important that you know what your side effects are from taking that medication. Now, some people won't experience side effects and some people will experience some, some people will experience severe side effects. So if there is something different with that person after taking the medication, um, even if you don't think that it's related to the medication, it's very important to let the psychiatrist know because that is the only way that they are able to tell, you know, to, to know what dosage to prescribe, if the dosage needs to be increased or if it needs to be decreased, um, or if you need a different medication altogether. Some people forget to tell the psychiatrist, um, you know, about the side effects, or they forget, you know, to tell them how they make them, how the medication makes them feel, and then they would just stop taking the medication. Um, they'll discontinue it without telling their doctor. But it's very important to tell the doctor if you're going to discontinue it and the reasons why, and you know, if you're experiencing side effects from it. So that is a psychiatrist. Again, the psychologist does not prescribe medication. They, um, you know go ahead and do different batteries of tests um, for you. And then the therapist, we do talk therapy. Um, you know, these are the people you will go to see once a week to, to talk about what's going on. And sometimes depending on the, you know, challenges that you're having, it's important to see the therapist as well as the psychiatrist and couple that together so you can get the best treatment depending on what's best for you. So that's something that you all wanna, you know, you wanna make sure that you discuss with your doctors um, and your providers to see if that's something that you need. Now, again, the therapist you will see usually once, once a week depending on your needs. Some people see a therapist twice a week. Some people see a therapist once a month. So depending on your needs, um, but usually it's once a week that you will see the therapist and then the psychiatrist, some people will see them every one to three months. So say for example, you have a new medication that's been prescribed to you, the psychiatrist might tell you to come back in two weeks or they might tell you to come back in a month or they may see that you're doing much, much better with the medication regimen and you're seeing your therapist, 
you only need to come back every three months. So it all depends on what you need and your treatment, but I just wanna make sure that, you know, people have the right information about these providers um, and what they can offer to you. So uh, also how, you know, you, there are other doctors that can prescribe psychiatric medication to you, right? So you have the psychiatrist, which focuses on the psychiatric medications, but you have your primary care doctor. A lot of people won't go see a psychiatrist first, right? Because if you think about it, you've been seeing your primary care doctor for years. Most people, you know, you go to him for a, him or her for a cold, you know, if you're just not feeling well or what have you. So that's the first provider that most people usually see and they will prescribe medication, psychiatric medication if needed, but then some of them will refer you to the psychiatrist. Um, then, uh, some people who, for example, are going through postpartum depression, they will go to their OBGYN first and the OBGYN will prescribe the medication that they may need and then have them follow up with them again to see how they're doing or then follow up with the psychiatrist. I just wanted to come to you guys and explain the distinction and clarify um, you know the differences between those providers if you guys have any questions please leave them below um, and I know some people that might be watching might be providers as well so provide some information to people you know about what you do and what your role is in treatment for people who have challenges with mental health so again any questions below please leave them any comments Please leave them if you, um, you know, need any resources. Please let me know below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.